Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson, right here on the Health Beat Show. I want you to call your mom, your sisters, your brothers, your cousins, your kids, because we have a great show for you today. Today, as part of the show, we will be down in Las Vegas for the Stellar Awards, where we were able to interview people for the Stellar Awards and their health. And as you know, the Stellar Awards are the Gospel Grammys. We were able to talk to some of the top gospel singers in the world. Talk to them about their health, what they're doing to stay healthy, and of course, stay close with God. Because health is a state of spiritual, socioeconomic, psychological, and physical state of well-being. We could not leave gospel music out. The other thing that we want to talk to you about is not just the body, but we are the body. The Oakland School of the Arts is preparing to do a wonderful show at the Fox Theater, May 4th. It's called We Are the Body. They'll be talking to you about your limbs, about stand up for your rights. They'll be talking to you about what you are seeing in the world today. They will be talking to you about your heart, men and women, children, parents, homeless, everyone lead with love. And then we'll be asking the question, is it all right? Is it all right? So that will be, we are the body. But I want you to stay tuned because we have a great show. We were in Las Vegas for the 2018 Stellar Awards. Those are the Gospel Grammys. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. Stay tuned. You're watching the Health Beat television show. I'm Kat Bobino, and we're here in Las Vegas at the 33rd annual Stellar Awards. This is the Gospel of Grammys, and we're going to talk to some of the celebs here and see what they do to keep healthy. Keep watching the Health Beat television show. What are you excited about tonight? Everything. Everything. Yeah, everything's important. Everything you that you do for God is important. Is no awesome. special groups, no special songs. They all, if it's lifting up Jesus. Who cares? That is amazing. Amen. amen. And we need to get the mindset that that's what it's about. Yes. Amen. amen. All right. That is so amazing. But I want to ask you, I heard you guys talking about marriage. How do you keep the marriage healthy? We're Loving each other. Yes, staying in love. And I mean, you know, we've come to a, um, a conclusion that we try to outdo each other doing for each other. <laughs> so it's like, and, and in that way, nothing goes on, nothing, nothing no need goes, goes lacking. lacking. Every need is met. Every want is met. And we both happy. Awesome. And I got one more question. What's going to be on your Easter table this uh, on Easter Sunday? I don't know. We may be working. Oh. It, it may be nothing <laughs> on there this, this Easter because we'll I'm, be working. You know, when everybody else gets to celebrate, yeah. we have to go out and minister and do what the Lord has called us to do. So I'm not mad. I used to live in Texas, so if I come back, can I come eat? Come on, you guys? Come on to <laughs> Come on to the house. I'm holding you to that. Come on. It's on video. How you doing tonight? I'm blessed. How about you? Oh, I am blessed. And when I say you are looking absolutely amazing, how do you keep yourself fit, motivated to do the work that you do? You try chasing all them babies around. <laughs> Nine kids, you get to chasing little babies everywhere. You ain't got time to get fat or be a mess. I am not mad at that at all. Eat healthy and, and, um, and go to in healthy places. That's all I can say, you know, just... Eat vegetables and stuff. You are looking amazing tonight. Congratulations. And I understand that you're an avid juicer. I am. I like to juice, not that often. Uh, last year, I really got into it. I got over myself. I was just over it. I was over, over, over it. And I just wanted to do something healthy. My mom's a doctor. She's an internist. Uh, board certified, uh, black woman, been doing it for a long, long time. That's amazing. And so I told her, I said, Mom, I think I'm going to juice. She was like, OMG, how long are you going to do it? And so I juiced with a friend of mine. We did it together, 30 days. To stay healthy, I try to eat right. I try to eat right. But I am in the gym at least five days a week um, because it, you know, to wear stuff like this, you got to be halfway right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to say, I'm loving the suit. Thank I'm loving the color. Much. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I know you're on Greenleaf. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about your character on the show? So my character is Sophia Greenleaf. Uh, she moves to Memphis, Tennessee with her mother, Grace Greenleaf, and moves into this huge house with 
her family that runs a mega church, and um, sorry, and she. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm no, it's okay. It's I'm okay. So, I'm so ADD. Um, <laughs> anyways, no. So. Um, Sophia moves to Memphis, ends up living with her family who runs a church. She starts off being an atheist, but then over, you know, season one and season two, she becomes kind of like the face of the church, and she's a very pure soul, um, you know, with only intentions to do good. So, anyways, that's my character. <laughs> oh, you have been doing the Stellar Awards for years. You started it. How do you stay motivated? How do you stay de-stressed? Uh, well, it's the artists, and this is like a healing bomb for me uh, to come and be a part of it. What do you think, Irma? Yeah, I think that I, if somebody had told me that I would be feeling like I'm feeling right now with everything that's happened, I wouldn't have believed it. But God is real, and the music and the love that the artists give us is real, and it does sustain us and help us. You two look amazing together. How do you guys stay de-stressed when you're out here doing all this stuff? I just feel like God graces you for it. You balance it all by him just praying, making sure you keep your time and daily devotion. He definitely helps everything. We are here with gospel royalty, Diedrich Haddon. How are you doing? It's good to be here. Good to be here. San Francisco, what up, y'all? What up? <laughs> So it's so amazing to see you guys here with the whole family. We are all about health. How do you feel like you keep your whole family healthy? Well, she keeps us healthy. Uh, okay. <laughs> if it's up to me, we all eat junk, all <laughs> candy. <laughs> they, eat, they wake up eating candy. So uh -oh. mama holds that down. Okay. Well, we had an amazing time here today at the 33rd Annual Stellar Awards here in Las Vegas. This is the Gospel Grammys, and we have talked to so many celebrities, so many nominees. It has been such an amazing night. So make sure you tune into The Health Beat Show. The Health Beat Show, sponsored by... Watson Wellness Water. Your health is your wealth. Las Vegas and the Stellar Awards were definitely hot. It was great to talk to people about gospel music and their health. But let's come back to Oakland, to the Oakland School of the Arts, where we talk about we are the body. We've got the teachers, we've got the young people. May 4th at the Fox Theater, they will be singing We Are the Body a metaphor about how we can socially, politically become more healthy right here in our own community. My name is Emma, I'm in seventh grade, I'm in Select Ensemble, and I've been here for two years. My name is Salas Berkwalji, I am a vocal music director here in the vocal department at OSA, and I've been here four years. So this show is actually about contemporary songs of revolution and resistance. And we chose this song, Feel It Still, because it talks about how the new generation is still connected to the old generation, um, how civil rights is still happening, how we're trying to change the world as it stands right now and make it a better place. And it's just a really fun song for our younger kids to really feel uh, inspired and empowered in partaking in the changing of the country that they're going to be running in a few years. I'm in Select Ensemble, directed by Solis. LG, and I love it. <laughs> the song is called Feel It Still and it's by Portugal the Man. I feel that Feel It Still will motiv motivate me to go to where I'm supposed to be in the future by showing me that you can do what you want. You need to stand up for your rights. You need to be who you specifically want to be, do what you want to do. So this fabulous show put on the by the OSA vocal department is called We Are The Body. We are performing on May 4th at the Fox, 7 p.m. You can find tickets at Ticketmaster.com. There are several different choices of tickets. We would love to see you there. My name is Ricky. Um, I compose Don't Stop because a lot of the rap songs nowadays, they all are, they're not very positive. They all consist of just talking about women and drugs and alcohol. And I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I wanted to be the first to kind of bring back the positive side of hip hop and talk about following your dreams um, and overall motivation of just everybody. My song, it starts out with Don't Stop Believing," so you kind of get the overall gist of just following your dreams. And though the world is hard, I'm still holding on to that feeling. Don't stop following your dreams. Just keep going till you reach your goals. My name is Aaliyah. I am going to be singing Mississippi Goddamn by Nina Simone in our vocal show at the Fox Theater. Well, Mississippi Goddamn is stating all the issues and problems that we have within our country um, and is basically stating that we need to 
understand what's happening. And with Mississippi Goddamn, we are going to showcase what is happening during our show, which is We Are The Body, and we are going to express how we feel. My name is Renee. Uh, I'm singing uh, Carefully Taught by Billy Porter and India Ari. I'm in uh, eighth grade. Um, this is my third year at OSA, and the program like impacts me. It's just, it's just a lot of songs of like resistance and stuff like that, and I feel like that's really important in today's world. My name is Susanna. I'm singing These Hands, These Eyes, This Voice at the Fox Theater in Oakland. The song is about the parts of the body and how it affects society right now and how we could change and what we really are and I think the song has a good impact on the time we are right now. Well the, the first lyric is these eyes, these eyes can see. So it's like we, we can see like the wrong and the right in the world right now to, like no matter what our age is or like anything like gender or anything we can we can see the right and the wrong and we want to change my name is kaya my name is nyla um, the song i am singing and we are the body is carefully taught the song i'm singing and we are the body is all right by kendrick lamar i think how they relate to each other is they're both kind of talking about a sensitive topic and um, they're basically talking about how different people, no matter your race or your religion or anything, are treated differently just based on the color of their skin. And we're trying to portray the message that it, should be, it shouldn't be that way and everyone should be equal. They both relate because they both explain the different stereotypes of certain races and how races are viewed and mistreated. Mm -hmm. And they both have really deep messages. My name is Ty. I'm singing Quiet by Milk. This song is about, well it came out right after the Women's March, the first Women's March last year, and it's um, a song about uh, the movement and the revolution and kind of a lot to do with the women's movement specifically. It's definitely about empowering women and kind of having your voice heard, um, even if society and other things are kind of silencing it. One thing is that the artist for me who sang it is an Asian American woman and I myself am an Asian American girl um, and an artist and, I, and that was really empowering to see her sing a song about something that did mean a lot to me as in like the, the movement. My name is Clementine. I'm singing Feel It Still by Portugal the Man and We Are the Body. Um, it's a really upbeat song, but it also talks about really important issues like fighting for your rights and your freedom, and it's really relevant right now. I think it's really important for the vocal music program at OSA to perform these songs because it really shows that we can make a difference even though we're young. The Health Beat Show, sponsored by Watson Wellness Water. Your health is your wealth. Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson, and as you know, I usually talk to you about the body. Today, I'm talking to you about the Oakland School of the Arts musical presentation, We Are the Body. The young people from Oakland will be singing to you about the body of music that incorporates the limbs, stand up for your rights, the vocals, lead for love, your eyes, the things that they have seen in the world today, and your heart, the love and the glory that they are seeing in the positivity of our community, and also some of the things that have gone wrong. I'm not just talking to you about the body. The Oakland School of the Arts Music Department will be presenting on February 4th, that's Friday night from 7 p.m. at the Fox Theater in Oakland. We are the body. Come see our young people because you'll always hear me say that your health is your wealth and when you have your health, you have everything. Go Oakland School of the Arts. Hi, this is Marie Plett, and I'm the chair of the School of Vocal Music at OSA. I'm here with Francesca DeAngelis Nelson. She is one of our student composers for the show. And before we start our interview, I just wanted to talk about the purpose of our vocal show this year. It's called We Are the Body, and we are talking about the world at large and our students' response to events and, and that they want to be heard and considered. And essentially, 
The title of the show reflects that in this time of social and political unrest, we are all searching for a way to be heard. Our students see the world around them. They want their hearts to be understood, their voices to be heard, and they want to find a way to take action for the changes they long for. As young artists, they are exploring their world through song. We Are the Body examines the idea of the individual and the collective and the many roles that each member plays. So we asked our students to consider um, writing songs for the show and we had four students who won that right um, and Francesca is one of them she wrote this beautiful song and what's the name of your song honey um, it is these eyes these hands this voice and what w originally we had thought about having different themes what could what do you feel what do you see what, what can you do right mm -hmm. and you encompassed it all because you yeah Mm -hmm. What do you see with your eyes? What can yeah. you do with your hands, right? Mm -hmm. um, did you write the lyrics yourself? Yes, I did. How, uh, do you write a lot of poetry? Um, yeah, I write because I'm in a um, songwriting elective at school, so I like write a lot of songs in the class. So yeah, I write pretty mm -hmm. a lot. <laughs> uh, so Francesca not only wrote her song, she also wrote the backup for mm -hmm. her song for the yep. chorus to sing. Mm -hmm. And her sister, Susanna, is going to be joining her to sing harmony on her song as well. Hi, my name is Annika Inkstadt. The history of my experience in the vocal music department is I came here in sixth grade. I'm currently a freshman. And in sixth grade, um, I had a Fox solo. I was in the show Caravan, and it was a great show. Um, I auditioned for choirs in middle school and was a part of Select Ensemble and Encore. Um, now, currently, I'm in concert choir in high school, um, and it's great. Miss Menzies is a great teacher. I really enjoy it. I am singing We Are in Need of a Musical Revolution by Astero, and it's a song about how, um, you know, Things that we hear, especially like in music nowadays, kind of sometimes can objectify people, especially women, but all different like problems that can connect to it. There are a lot of ways that people can connect to my song, and it's just an honor to be performing it. Hello, August. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So first question I have to ask, what's the big theme or title or name of this vocal show? Um, the show is called We Are The Body and the theme is like revolution and standing up, okay. spreading your words. When yeah. is it? It is May 4th and it is at the Fox Theatre. How can I get tickets for this? You can go online. Um, it's on the Oak Arts website if you see the little poster for the show. Yes. You can also go at the box office from 12 to 5 the day of the show. Yes. So are you doing any soloists? Are you part of choir groups? What's your gist? I'm part of concert choir, Miss Menzies choir. I'm not a soloist, I'm mainly background, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'm part of the concert choir. All right, all right. Is it gonna be more just stage, just a single soloing, singing, or is it gonna be dancing? What type of theme or what What are we gonna get from this? Yeah, I'm really excited. This is the first time I've been in a show like this. There will be like choreography yes. and lights and everything because it's at the Fox Theater, so they can actually make it into like a really big production and they have like everything on the screens behind. So, so kind of well-rounded performance. Yeah, it's, it'll be really cool. When May 4th at 7 p.m., the Fox Theater on Telegraph in Oakland, the Oakland School of the Arts, we are the body. Our young people will be talking to you not just about the physical aspects, but about the socioeconomics, the psychological aspects, the love, all the things from our heart. They'll be talking about what does your voice say? What do your limbs say? Stand up for your rights. Your voice says lead with love. They will be talking about the things that they have seen which are social and political. And then they'll be talking from their heart. The fact that you have to be carefully taught how to love, and some people have been carefully taught how to hate. The Oakland School of the Arts, May 4th, we are the body at the Fox Theater, 7 p.m. on Telegraph in Oakland. I'll see you there. Go Oakland School of the Arts. The Health Beat Show, sponsored by Watson Wellness Water. Your health is your wealth. Hello, everyone. 
you need to check out our show that's coming up on Friday, May 4th at the Fox Theater. It's called We're the Body. And I'm here with a student from Oakland School for the Arts. I'm faculty at OSA in the vocal music department. My name is Lisa Forkish. I have an original song in the show called Lead with Love. And we also have some incredible songs um, by other artists um, that might be a little more well known. What's the song that you're singing in the show, Persephone? I'm singing Make America Great Again by Pussy Riot. By Pussy Riot. So is that a song about um, Trump, I'm guessing? Yeah, yeah. there is definitely some hints towards our president now. Is it like pro? Is it like, <laughs> yeah, make America great again? No. no. It's all satirical. So if you watch the music video, you can see the um, real intention behind the name. Um, and it's a really cool song. I like it. And what would you say, the We Are The Body theme, how, how does, what does that mean to you? Or how do you relate to the theme? Um, well, I've been going to protests and marches and standing up for things ever since I was really little. And I feel like We Are The Body is really mostly trying to unite the people because, um, you know, there's strength in numbers and, um, you know, an injury to one is an injury to all. My name is Jaleesa. I wrote this a song called Every Little Thing. The song is basically about um, creating co counterculture and going against um, basically what this world is going through at the moment. and. Um, that there's so much anger and everything going on that it's actually looking in within yourself and um, choosing to look at yourself and the healing starts from yourself first. My name is Daisy and I'll be playing guitar along with the vocalist Jaleesa who also wrote the song Every Little Thing. How I became involved was I was once playing guitar and then Jaleesa actually entered the room and asked me to play her uh, the guitar part into the song. I'm fighting for like human rights and equality and just, you know, everyone's human rights. My name is Audrey. I'm in Vocal Rush. It's an acapella group with 12 girls. I'm in ninth grade and for We Are The Body, I wrote an original song that I'll be singing. It's called Change. It's about just being the change that you want to see in the world because so many people talk about how they want things to be different and they want life to be more fair but they don't actually do anything about that. May 4th at 7 p.m. at the Fox Theater and tickets are at Ticketmaster.com if you want to purchase them please do it'll be really fun. Stand up for your rights get up stand up stand up for your rights I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. You usually hear me talking to you about your body. Well, the Oakland School of the Arts, right here in Oakland, will be presenting their musical presentation using a metaphor, we are the body. They'll be talking about a body of music, a metaphor, the things that they see that are going on in this world. They're limbs. You've got to stand up for your rights. You've got to keep it moving. They'll be talking to you about the things that come from their heart. Women, men, the folks that are disabled, lead with love. Leave the hatred away. They'll be talking to you about the beauty in this world, some of the conflicts in this world. The young people from the Oakland School of the Arts, May 4th, the Fox Theater, right on Telegraph Avenue in Oakland. Stand up for your rights, get up, stand up, stand up for your rights. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. You usually hear me talking about the body. We are the body is the metaphor that the Oakland School of the Arts will be bringing to you. We'll see you there May 4th, Fox Theater, 7 p.m. Hi, I'm Satya Hawley. I'm a senior at OSA and I am in Vocal Rush. Hi, I'm Anna Sarah. I am a junior at OSA and I am in chamber choir. Vocal Rush is a 12-person a cappella group here at OSA. Chamber Choir is a 50-person high school choir here at OSA. In We Are the Body this year, I'm going to be singing Lead with Love, written by Lisa Forkish. In We Are the Body, I'm going to be performing Bob Marley's Get Up Stand Up. In Lead with Love, it was written by my teacher, Lisa Forkish, and I think it connects a lot with we are the body because it's talking, a lot of the lyrics are talking about in this world people ha are very fearful and people have a lot of pent up anger but if you carry yourself through the world leading with love and at least expressing to one another that you have support and sympathy, I think that's how we start making a change. 
Get Up Stand Up is a call to action song that really sparks hope in many people and also encourages people to stand up for their own rights. Get up, stand up, stand up. Bob Marley is a really famous Jamaican activist, uh, revolutionary, and artist. We are the Omar Twins. My name is Musa. My name is Munir. Let's go to dance for our, um, one year. This, is our, this is our first year right now, so one year. It's been one year now. We're in seventh grade. My friend, um, Ricky Waters Jr., we did like a music video in December, and he invited us to, uh, he called us like one night, and he was telling us about this a performance about this event and it was like yes we're down and then um, that's how it got started and that's how we got involved with this performance we're going to do. Well what it means to me and my brother don't I mean, like it's like uh, don't stop grinding don't stop uh, moving forward and don't stop like chasing your dreams because kind of, if you're suffering or anything like that and and then also like you just don't stop because um, you just want to Keep on going, keep on going and moving forward. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. Thank you so much for traveling with us to Las Vegas, Nevada, where we were able to go to the Stellar Awards, the Gospel Grammys. We were able to see some of the greatest gospel stars in the world and talk about their health. Also, we were able to see the young people who are coming up to sing all types of music, music about their limbs, stand up, about their heart, about their eyes. Can we make it all right in our own community? We are the body. That's what we're doing May 4th in Oakland on Telegraph at the Fox Theater. Make sure that you get your tickets. It's gonna be a wonderful show. Thank you for being here with me on the Health Beat Show where you'll always hear me say that your health is your wealth. And when you have your health, you have everything. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Watson. We'll see you next time. You You have everything.